Mystery of the Moon. Now, that's a pretty loaded title because there's a lot of things about the moon that's pretty fascinating, but we're going to explore one facet of the moon in this experiment, and that is the color of the moon. All right, so why does the moon shine? The moon shines because its surface reflects light from the sun. This is the standard modern scientific um, uh, reason for why the moon shines. All right, so let's look at some characteristics of the sun and the moon since they, according to modern science, are so uh, connected together. Let's look at their characteristics. Sunlight is 5,500 Kelvin. Kelvin is, is the um, increments of measurement used to measure the color of light. Sunlight is warm. Sunlight uh, has cool, is cooler in shadows, and sunlight is white. All right, let's look at moonlight. Moonlight is 4,000 Kelvin. Moonlight is cool, warmer in the shadows, and has a bluish tone. Let's keep those characteristics in mind. Okay, let's look at a um, chart here with uh, the different levels of color that you get from the various uh, temperatures of light. This is a Kelvin chart. And so uh, you see here, uh, uh, candlelight is more of a red shift and um, um, household bulbs uh, or otherwise tungsten bulbs are 2000 Kelvin and you got 3000 for pro film lights, tungsten lights. Um, I don't know if anyone even uses those anymore. Um, and then you have fluorescent. Fluorescent is, fluorescent is interesting because of different types of fluorescent. Uh, you have the um, wide spectrum here from 4,000 to 6,000 Kelvin. The white color that, uh, that you get is straight from sunlight and electric flash. Electric flash uh, in your camera is always sunlight balanced, all right? Uh, and so we uh, have here, uh, when you get off into the bluish tones, you have uh, from 7,000 to 10,000 Kelvin, and you can see the different types of light um, that occur during the course of a day that has these colors to them. All right, so now we're going to look at what the light does. So we have here in this scene, uh, we have the uh, a yellowish tone here, goldish tone. And if you remember, that's from tungsten light. Um, and so tungsten light has this yellowish tone. And when it's um, uh, reflected off of surfaces, it gives the surface that same color temperature as the tungsten light, all right? So you have the tungsten light here with the gold tone to it, and then it has the um, uh, the white wall behind it is uh, the same color shift as the tungsten light. The So is the big teddy bear and the um, uh, walls here, I'm sorry, the table here, has a even more of a yellowish goldish tone in addition to the wood tone that's there. So what we're going to do is white balance this scene and white balance is what you use in video and still photography because most people have digital cameras now and so you have to white balance your scene. Basically what you're telling the scene is that you're telling the scene what color balance you want you're telling the camera what color balance you want for your scene. So we're going to white balance this for, um, uh, we're going to tell the camera, hey, 
we're shooting tungsten and so what it will do is make the tungsten look the same way it does to the human eye because the human eye doesn't really see all of this rich golden color our eye will white balance the scene automatically which is pretty awesome you know um so what we have to do is tell the camera to do that because um uh, a lot of cameras won't do it automatically so we're going to do that and as you can see there you go all right now that the scene is white balanced um you can actually see the true color of the scene uh the table in its true wood tone this black is a true black uh the base of the lamp is more of a bronze the bear is definitely white all right and then you have the wall here which is kind of off-white and then you have the uh red um bow so when you white balance the scene you bring the color um you shift the color to what your eye sees because your eye automatically white balance so our experiment with the bear actually has has a uh, has a conclusion to that that part of the experiment and that is characteristics of reflected light is not different from the source of light so Let's read that again. This is really important. Characteristics of reflected light is not different from the source of light. So the reflected light of the tungsten lamp is still tungsten. The reflected light of the tungsten lamp is still tungsten. It doesn't turn into fluorescent. It doesn't turn into incon um, it doesn't well, it's, it's incandescent, but it doesn't turn into fluorescent. It doesn't turn into any other type of light, candlelight sunlight it is tungsten light okay because that's what the source is now this is a constant and it never changes all right let's go on so with that in mind the white balance experiment of the bear with that in mind let's white balance the moon all right so now we're going to take this moon here and that's what I did one day. I just, it was just a fluke idea of mine. I, I said, Hey, let's white balance the moon. And so I shot the moon as you can see here. And then using the P 900 at the time, I white balanced the moon. And that's what I ended up with. Okay. So, so instead of the moon, uh, uh being that golden color that you see a lot with the moon um because you're viewing it through the air and sometimes the air has smog in it or something like that and so you get that goldish tone and so i white balanced it and this is the color that i got more or less sometimes you'll get a little warmer or, or, or even a little cooler it depends on how your white balancing system is set up so look into that but this is what i ended up with okay now what does that mean look at this that means that um when i white balanced the moon and i looked at the kelvin temperature because the camera will actually tell you what temperature the moon was before you white balanced it and i ended up with 4,000 Kelvin. Now remember, sunlight, all right, right here, direct sunlight is 5,500 degrees Kelvin. Remember that um, character, the uh, characteristic charts chart that, that we did, okay? So sunlight is 5,500 degrees Kelvin, and but the moon white balances at 4,000 degrees Kelvin. Remember, the characteristics of reflected sunlight does not change from the source. So the moon should be 5,500 degrees Kelvin, yet it is not. It's 4,000 degrees Kelvin. Interestingly enough, it's similar to fluorescent light, which is 
blew my mind. It blew my mind when when I I, I was like, what? Okay, that was pretty amazing. So if you have a different color temperature, then if if the reflected light is a different color temperature than the source, then it's a different type of light. What's our conclusion? The moon does not share the same characteristics as the sun. Therefore, it is a completely separate light source. Let's read that one more time because this is pretty amazing. All right. The moon does not share the same characteristics as the sun. Therefore, it is a completely separate light source. The moon is its own light source because it is 4,000 degrees Kelvin instead of 5,500 degrees Kelvin. The only way you can get that is if you have two completely different light sources. Reflected light does not change from its source ever. This never happens. All right. So that is our conclusion. And that's just fascinating to me. So just remember, take this information and don't accept, verify.